greatest story ever told. Tonight we present The Crucifixion, the second in a series of three Lenten dramas, The Betrayal, The Crucifixion, and The Resurrection, based upon episodes in the greatest life ever lived. Our scene is Jerusalem, and it is dark. Most of the people sleep. To them, it's like any other holiday night, and they sleep peacefully not knowing what goes on in the palace of Caiaphas, where the prisoner, Jesus of Nazareth, is held by guards. There, a group of judges has been assembled, called together hurriedly by Caiaphas himself. But outside, the disciple Peter stands silent. His face is drawn, his eyes reddened by tears. He's startled suddenly by the voice of a young boy inside. Please, sir, what's going on in there? Why are all these men here in the middle of the night? Quiet, boy. What is it, sir? I heard the chariots tearing through the streets in the middle of the night, so I slipped out of my house to find out why. We're trying him in there now. The master? Yes. But why? I fear him, that's why. Why should anyone fear him? Because what he teaches would put an end to tyranny. He would expose the traitors among our people who collaborate with the Romans. Most of all, I suppose, because our people follow him. That's why they fear him. Oh. And they're trying the twelve men who are with him, too? The twelve? No, they're trying them. Aren't they as dangerous as he is? I'm afraid not. They say the same things he says. They don't have his courage. Don't tell me that. I saw them only this afternoon when they came into the city with him. They looked strong and courageous. And especially the one named Peter. He's big and strong and... Quiet. I'm sorry. Did I say something wrong? Don't talk so much, boy. Yes, sir. Are they in jail, then? Who? The twelve who were with him. No. No, no. They're not in jail. And don't ask so many questions. Yes, sir. I still don't understand why they're not... Because they ran away. All of them. No. Be quiet now. I'm trying to hear what's going on inside. You know the one called Peter? He looks so... In heaven's name, be quiet, boy. Yes, sir. You see, Hannes, I promised you it would all be arranged, and in the dead of night. I seem to have underestimated you, Caiaphas. Well, now that you have him here, try him. Get it over with. Don't worry, I will. There's a great deal to do before dawn. I'd better start the trial. Judges, we are gathered here in this emergency session because this is a case which calls for unusual and immediate measures. We'll have the prisoner brought in. Guard. Is this the prisoner? It is. Then we won't try him. What? Who are you to say? I am Joseph of Arimathea. By virtue of my standing, I am a judge of this court. And I say... You have nothing against this man. Allow the case to be presented first before you judge. I know why he is here. Because he is a friend of the people. And you fear that he'll open their eyes to what you and your father-in-law have been doing for so long. If that's his crime, I say set him free 
and place yourself on trial. As long as authority is vested in me to convene this court, I will run matters here. I say this man stands charged with great crimes, and I have witnesses to prove my charges. I don't doubt that. You have a way with witnesses, Caiaphas. Why is this man being tried in the middle of the night? Why not wait till morning? Why not give the people of Jerusalem a chance to hear this man and the way he is being judged? Oh, a good question. Well? To uh, hold this trial in a city full of thousands of people who have come here to celebrate the holiday and who might have been exposed to this man's teachings might cause much uh, unwanted difficulty. Are you afraid to face our people with this act? Because it will expose you? You come close to treason, Joseph? There's treason here, yes. But the treason is yours. You commit treason when you steal out like a thief in the night to try this man and condemn him behind the backs of the people of Jerusalem. That's treason against the people. Let their voices be heard. Gentlemen, gentlemen, we have not come here to debate, only to accomplish one thing. The trial of this man. The trial will commence. First witness, step forward. Can you hear anything, sir? Shh. Quiet, boy. Do you think they will find him guilty? Who oh, no. knows? Is it true what I heard? They're trying the master in there now. Yes, it's true. My father is one of the judges. They woke him in the middle of the night to come here. So I decided to follow and find out why. Quiet, girl. I know you. You talk too much, be quiet. But I do know you. I think I've seen you before. With him. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure of it. You were with the master. That's right. I recognize him now. You're, you're the big strong man, the one they call Peter. Quiet, both of you. You don't know what you're saying. I don't know the man. But I'm sure I... Quiet. I swear I... I don't know the man. But you are a Galilean. What difference does it make where I came from? Don't talk so loud. I want some of the others to hear you. But all his friends, the ones who came here with him, they are Galileans, aren't oh, they? Stop babbling so. But I'm sure that you are. Why do you torture me this way? I tell you, I, I take an oath that I do not know the man. Now be quiet. But I only asked I've you. told you three times I don't know him. I... Three times. Three times. Leave me alone. Why don't you leave me alone? What's wrong? He was crying. Yes. If I were a big, strong man like he is, I wouldn't cry. Not ever. It's strange. Very strange. Dawn. Pretty soon, it'll be dawn. <laughs> Caiaphas, is this the last of your witnesses? Yes. And on such testimony, you ask us to convict this man? On the word of witnesses who contradict each other? Who are you that you've appointed yourself this man's defender? I am a judge of the court of Israel. And it is my duty to see that justice is enforced here. Shall we take a vote now on whether this man is innocent? Yes. yes, set him free. No, no. There's no guilt proven here. I don't think we even need take a vote. You have heard the verdict of the high court. Now, wait, wait, wait. 
There's nothing to indicate that this trial is over. How can you judge if you haven't heard all the evidence? Will we have to sit through more of this testimony from bribed witnesses? <laughs> we, uh, we will uh, recess for a few moments. Ennis. Ennis, what do we do? I told you. You fool. Did you think you could force this court to convict an innocent man? Well, I, I, I thought they'd welcome the chance. This has turned into a mockery. And if you had any doubt as to how the people of Jerusalem would look on this, you have your answer now. Oh, those witnesses, very bad liars. You expected to fool these judges with prepared witnesses. Are you out of your mind? Justice is a tradition in Israel ever since Moses handed down the law. And you seek to destroy that feeling for justice in this farce of a trial. Well, sh shall we dismiss the court? Shall we, shall we send them all home, set the man free? <laughs> You're in so deep now, you can't back out. What would happen tomorrow morning when this becomes known, as it must? The man will be a greater hero than he ever was. What I warned you about. Now you've done it. Now, please, Annas, now, please, help me. Don't forget that you're in this as deep as I am. I've never been unaware of that. There is a way. There is a way? Yeah. Well, what way? Tell me and I'll do it. One other witness. The witnesses have failed. The one I have in mind won't fail. Who is it? The Nazarene himself. What? Yeah. Didn't he say only this morning that the temple would be destroyed and that he would rebuild it in three days? Yeah. Ask him if he thinks he could perform a miracle like that. Better still, ask him if what the people say is true. Is he the son of God? His own answers will convict him. You mean blasphemy? Oh, finally, you understand. Well, get on with it. We've wasted too much time already. Yes, but... Don't you... argue. If he admits it, that will take the decision out of the hands of the judges. Once he pleads guilty to blasphemy, the judges' hands are tied. They must convict. Yes. Now hurry. Yes, Sanus. it's very good. The trial will resume. You have found another witness, perhaps? Not perhaps, Joseph, indeed. We will call the master himself. Huh? You'll take your place as a witness. Caiaphas, what information do you seek to extract from this witness? We will find out what he has been preaching. Do you have to ask him? Why not ask those of us who've heard him preach in the temple? We know what he said. There may be more. He's never preached in secret. What more can there be? If there is no more, then the witness has nothing to fear. Now we'll begin the examination. Nazarene, you've said many things. Some I've heard you say. Others have been reported to me. It's about these things that I would like to examine you. I ask you, are you the Christ, the Messiah, sent to save the world? If I tell you, you will not believe. I ask you again, are you the Christ? Ye say that I am. I ask you once more, and this time I expect a direct answer. Are you the Son of God? Are you the Christ? I am. I tear my garments in accordance with the law. This man has blasphemed in my presence. Now there is only one verdict which you can hand down. Your decision is dictated by the law. Who's there? It is Caiaphas. I come to see Pontius Pilate. He sleeps. Well, then wake him. This is urgent business. Wait there. You see, Annas, this will all be over before the people have roused, just as I planned. Don't be so sure, Caiaphas. Don't forget, we've tried this man for blasphemy. Yes, and he was found guilty. For Pilate, that will not be enough, you fool. 
He'll only act on political crime. Oh, but don't worry. I've thought this out. I'll handle this. Come in. Pontius Pilate will see you in the great hall. Uh, no, don't lock the door. The guards are coming. They're bringing a prisoner with them. Yes, sir. This way. Ah, Pilate. So sorry to have wakened you in the middle of the night. Come in. Come in, Nanus Caiaphas. Must be important if it brought you here at this time. Oh, it is. It is indeed. There is a sentence of death to be passed. Death? Who? Why? The one called the Master. He's guilty of blasphemy. The court found him so. By his own confession. Then deal with him in your own way. Wait, Pilot. There's more here. A crime against Rome. That's your responsibility. What do you mean? The man sets himself up to be a king. A king? He claims to be the Christ, the leader of the Jews. There is only one king for Israel, and his name is Caesar. Who is this man who claims to be a king? Bring him in, God. Fetch him at once. Yes, Your Excellency. We'll see who set himself up to be a king in this territory of Rome. Huh? A king, indeed. Yes, and he has many followers. Now, how would it look in Rome if you were faced with a people who disclaim that Rome rules here? This thing must never happen. I'll stop it. Pilot, what is all this shouting in the middle of the night? My dear, I thought I left you sleeping. Gentlemen, my wife. Good morrow. Did you hear, my dear? The one they call the master. Now he's a king. That man? Oh, Pilot, I have nothing to do with that good man. I'm governor here. I make my own decision. After all... Please listen to me, all of you. Before I was awakened, I had a dream. A dream? Does Rome rule by dream, Pilot? Wait, listen to me. I had a dream about this master. What sort of a dream? I... I don't know. I can't remember. Please, my dear. Alice is right. I cannot rule by dream. But I tell you, I had this dream. It was about him. What... What happened? I forgot. But I ask you to have nothing to do with this man. What do you know about him? Nothing. It was just that dream. Then you had better go back to bed, my dear. This is a job that calls for a man's mind. Please, Pilot. This is men's business, my dear. Please, leave us. Yes, I'll go. But if only I could remember that dream. Dream. Well, I'll examine him myself. Here he is, Your Excellency. The prisoner. So, this is the one they call the master. Looks mild enough. Not at all like a king. <laughs> Ask him yourself. Indeed, I will. Tell me, are you the king of the Jews? Well? My kingdom is not of this world. Your kingdom? So you do hold pretensions to being a king. Are you a king, then? Thou sayest that I am a king. To this end was I born into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. What is truth? Well, answer me. What is truth? No answer, but that look in his eyes. Why do you accuse me with such a look? Take him away, God. Yes, sir. Come with me. Well, Pilot, that's the man. What are you going to do with him? A strange man. And that's where your trouble lies, Pilot. My trouble? Of course. When a man like that has so many followers, he's dangerous to Rome. And if he's dangerous to Rome, he's dangerous to you, too. What can I do with him? You, um... You have the power to put him to death. Hmm? What about the people? Oh, they'd approve it. Don't worry about that. But you say he has many followers. Well, there are, there are. But there are more people who would want to see him destroyed. It is something to think about. It might be a way to make up for other mistakes. Dennis, please. Let him talk. I know I've made mistakes. And didn't we help you out when you did? When the people were ready to send a delegation to Rome to complain because you insulted the temple by putting images outside of it, who was it who persuaded them not to complain? You did. Then take my advice now. Put 
this man out of the way. But how will I know if it's what will satisfy the people? Let them make the choice. Huh. I see. An excellent idea, Anna. Excellent. We will let them decide. Yes, and do it at once. There's a mob outside the palace gates now. At this hour? Of course. All right. I'll do it. We'll please the people. I'll offer them one prisoner to be freed, as is the custom at holiday time. This man or one other. Now, let me see. Who shall it be? Ah, I have it. The revolutionary Barabbas. The people shall have their choice between the two men. Come. God, silence the crowd. Quiet! Quiet! The representative of Rome wishes to be heard. In accordance with the custom whereby the ruling power in the land grants amnesty to a prisoner on this holiday, I am going to submit to your approval. Two men, you shall choose which one of them shall go free. The other one shall be put to death. Crucified. God, lead out the two prisoners. You have done your work well, Caiaphas. Where did you ever get such a mob as this together? Oh, it was very simple. A few coins, some wine, a promise here and there. The whole thing was arranged. There is no doubt as to how they will choose, is there? If I wanted to deal with doubt, would I have assembled these beggars so carefully? Mm. What's that? The prisoners. Look at the master. He's been beaten. Scourging is a refinement of Roman justice. And who put a crown of thorns on his head and that purple robe? Soldier's idea, no doubt. But don't be too concerned. This will work out just as you plan it. And Quiet. now... And now you will have your choice. Here are the two prisoners. This one is Barabbas. You know of him, a revolutionary. He has even killed to throw off the power of Rome. And this one is called Jesus of Nazareth. He claims to be a king. <laughs> well, now... Which of these two prisoners shall I give to you to be set free? Yes, the people have chosen. Turn Barabbas free. Yes, Here, I'll take your chains off. Go, Barabbas. You are free. And this one, sir? This one? What shall be done to this one? Crucify him! So be it. And he will carry his own cross to Calvary. Any other orders, Excellency? Bring me a pitcher of water immediately. A pitcher of water? Here, Excellency. Pour it over my hand. I am innocent of the blood of this just man. See to it yourself. Now, get on with it. Yes, Excellency. Bring out the cross. Yes, sir. The cross. Place it on his back. Yes, sir. It's done. Now send him on his way. Down the road to Calvary. John. John. See how he struggles along. Yes. How he suffers. Look at his face. How does he bear it? Wait, he's falling. I, I'd better... You there! Help him up! Carry that cross the rest of the way. All right, Roman. I'll help him. If we could help him, John. We... We can only follow now. To the top of the hill. Between two thieves, John. Yes. And in the sight of his mother. How she suffers. If we could only comfort her. Comfort her? In this moment of her greatest suffering? 
She can't speak a word. What can she say? Now that a sword has pierced her soul. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Amen, I say to thee, this day thou shalt be with me in paradise. Woman, behold thy son. Behold thy mother. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? I thirst. It is finished. Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit.